Good evening, Oscar. Good evening, Oscar. How are you tonight? It's a nice, a nice day, teacher. How are you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. Happy to be here. Yeah. Why? Okay. Evening. Now, uh, around uh, seven thirty, I sent another document. Yeah, yes, I, I printed. You printed, okay, very good, very good. Yes, uh, I don't have the unit four. Unit four, you don't have it. Uh, yes, the book, the book. Okay, let me, let's, should, let's go I, to the platform. the platform. Let's go see it right now. Okay. Okay, so let's go to the platform. Right here is the platform. Okay, uh, resources. Ah, sorry. Right here. So unit four is right here. Let's get to unit four. Don't charge, no, no, only blue page. Ah, oh, only the last page. Yes. Okay, let page me- one, one of one. Yeah, okay, let me inform that, okay? Okay, real. Buenas noches, Elena. Aquí le habla Roberto Decua. Fíjese que me dicen los eh, estudiantes y acabo de confirmar yo que cuando voy al, al manual del estudiante en la unidad 3 se sí aparece la unidad 3, pero en la unidad 4 solo aparece la última página y en el archivo aparece uno de uno, o sea que solo aparece la última página. Ok, este, me corrige y me confirma, por favor. Ok, this is what we are going to do, guys. No problem. Let me see if I can do this. Ok, uh... Luchi, mira lo que tengo aquí. Luchi, mira. ¿Ya viste lo que tengo aquí? Luchi, um. Vaya, eh, Oscar Arnulfo, acabo de mandar el libro completo al, al WhatsApp Group. ¿Ok? Así que, okay, thank you. 
Bájenlo de ahí, por favor. Eh, muy buenas noches, estoy reportando de que eh, en la plataforma, en el estudiante, en el manual del estudiante, eh, acabo de verificar de que la unidad 4 solo tiene una página y esa es la última página. ¿Okay? Yo les acabo de mandar el libro a los estudiantes, pero para que resuelvan ese problema. Gracias, bendiciones. Ok, very good, guys. So, eh, eh, on the WhatsApp group, que lo voy a dejar de compartir, ¿ok? En el WhatsApp group, because in the platform, there isn't unit number four, only the last page, ¿ok? Pero les acabo de enviar yo al grupo de WhatsApp, les acabo de mandar el libro entero, ¿ok? El libro número uno. Así que lo pueden bajar del WhatsApp y este tenerlo disponible, ¿verdad? Si pueden. ¿Ok? Buenas noches a todos. Good evening. Good evening. Ok, este, me acabo de percatar a través de Oscar Arnulfo de que la unidad 4 del libro 1 en la plataforma solo aparece la última página. ¿Ok? Entonces, al, al uh, grupo de WhatsApp, acabo de mandar el libro número uno entero, ¿ok? Así que ahí pueden encontrar ustedes la, la unidad número cuatro en... Quiero ver... Número 39. Ok. Eh, la unidad 4 comienza en la página 39. Ok. Y ahí teníamos las eh, teníamos el mapa y habíamos hecho una práctica de las preposiciones con respecto a los lugares. Ok. Ya habíamos dicho que íbamos a hacer este ejercicio, ¿ok? Así que ya saben que, que tenemos eh, el libro en la unidad 4. Todo el libro está en el grupo de WhatsApp. De ahí lo puede bajar a usted, se los acabo de enviar. Ok. Este es el listening. Y... Eh, Pre-listening, although watching movies online from the comfort of one home is becoming very popular. Aunque el ver televisión en línea, desde, el conf, desde la comodidad de cada uno de los hogares, de cada quien, está siendo muy popular. Many people still enjoy the pleasure of buying movie tickets. Mucha gente todavía está disfrutando el placer de comprar... Eh, Tiquetes de película, de, de cine. En watching a movie at a local theater. Y ver una película en un eh, cine local. What is the attraction that draws people to the movies? ¿Cuál es la atracción que trae a la gente a, a los cines? How much do movie tickets cost in your area? ¿Cuánto cuestan los tickets en su en su, en su área. What people... Ah, este vaya a ver. What people... Vamos a ver si lo podemos poner aquí. No. What people... What do people like to do before, after seeing a movie? ¿Qué es lo que a la gente le gusta antes de ver una película? 
¿Ok? Vale. Entonces, vamos a hacer esto. Vamos a platicar. We are going to tell me what is the attraction that draws people to the movies. ¿Cuál es la atracción que trae a la gente al cine? Go ahead, tell me. The environment. The environment of the movie. Okay, the environment of the movie theater. Movie theater ah. is el cine, el cinema. Okay, very good. What else? The food. The food that they sell there. What else? Uh huh, Bessie. What do you think is the attraction that brings people go to the movie theater? La cartelera, teacher. How do you say that? Okay, that is the movie reviews. Okay. The movie. Okay. Now, uh, that, Enrique, that Enrique, Enrique is what is your movie. opinion? What is the attraction that draws people to the movies? Jeremias, what is your opinion? Why do people go to the movie theaters? Um, uh, the question of the people is... <sighs> okay. How do you say... How do you say... Pasear? Uh -huh. uh, go out. Okay, people want to go out. That's why they go to the movie, okay? Eh, Enrique, Karen, Roberto. Teacher. Yes, sir. Um, watch the movie with my friends. Okay, watch the movies with friends. Very good. Aha, uh -huh. Delia, Caesar. Teacher, Hello. sometimes is Hola. share with Hola. their. Uh huh. Sometimes. Sometimes, um, the reason is shares with the friends. Okay, share with friends. Okay, Jacqueline. Why people go to the movie theater? Pasar un tiempo con los amigos. Oh, turn, turn on your microphone. Turn, eh, póngale más volumen a su, a su micrófono. Ya que le, se le oye bien bajito. Pasar un tiempo con los amigos. Ok, spend time with friends. Ok, Sandra. Why do people, what is the attraction that brings people to the movie theaters? Um, and the... El sonido, la emoción, pero no sé cómo se dice. Ok, the sound and the emotion, ok. The Now, emotion. probably the screen, la pantalla. You see the movie in a big, big screen, ok. It could be one. Ok, now, how much do movie tickets cost in your area? Let's see. Karen, how much do movie tickets cost in el, here in San Salvador? Uh, the movie tickets cost in El Salvador maybe five or six dollars. It depends on the date of the week. Of the date of the week. Movie. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, very good. What do people like to do before or after seeing a movie? Let's see. Uh -huh. Enrique, what do people like to do before seeing a movie? The people like to do before go dinner or, or visit in the mall. Okay. Very good. Jeremias, what do people like to do after seeing a movie? Buy food. Buy food. Or maybe go for a drink. Okay. Now. Listen to the recording and answer the question. Now, this is the map. Can you see the map right here? 
Okay, now listen again. I'm going to make it bigger so you can have a better view. Okay? No, está compartiendo. no estoy compartiendo la pantalla. No, el libro está ahí. Ah, el libro. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, now let me share it. And now? Yes. Yes. Can you see the map? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. I'm going to make it bigger for you. Okay? Make it, make it a little bigger. Okay, now listen to the recording and answer the questions. Okay, what are the questions? When is Steve going out with Jennifer? Saturday, Friday, or Sunday? Where is the movie theater? Is number four, number four, number 12, two, or one? Number 12, number two, or number one? So you listen and pay attention. Okay, where is the restaurant located? 14, 11, 8, or 6? So is it on 14? Is it on 11? Let me see, where is 11? 11, where is 11? Ah, 11 or 8 or 6? Is it right here in six or is it right here in number in number eight right here? Okay, so you listen. And what time does the restaurant close on Sundays? At 11, at 10.30 or at 12 a.m.? And where is the florist? Do you know what is the florist? Where they sell flowers. Is in number six, five, 10 or 15? Okay, so it's in number six, 10, five, or 16, or, or what is the other one? Five, six, five, 10, or 15, right? Or is it on 15 right here? So listen carefully. Okay, here we go. Hey, Renee, do you happen to know where the movie theater is downtown? The one near the hospital? Yeah, why do you want to know? Well, on Monday, I asked Jennifer out on a date for this coming Saturday night. Wow, you've already been seeing a lot of her lately. Sounds great. Okay, right down these directions so you don't get lost. Okay, go ahead. First, drive down first to be going west, across the river, and keep going straight until Pine Street. Until Pine Street, right? Right. Then turn left, and the movie theater is the second building on the right. It's next to the church. Second building on the right. Got it. Now, can you recommend any nice restaurants? Yeah, I think Flamingo serves excellent Spanish food. Well, where's that? Well, starting from the movie theater, go south on Pine Street, cross 2nd Street, and drive to 3rd Street. You'll see a parking lot on the left side of the street. Okay, so far? A parking lot on the left. Okay, then what? Okay, then turn left on 3rd Street and drive east. Pink Flamingo is the building just before the river on the left side. I think it's open weekdays from 10.30 in the morning to 11.30 at night, but it stays open until midnight on weekends. Okay, I think I've driven by there before. Oh, last thing, where can I buy some flowers? We're going to out to celebrate Jennifer's birthday. Well, the only florist I know is in front of the stadium on 2nd Street, try that one. Great, thanks a lot. Okay, was that clear or you want me to repeat it? Hello? Yeah, please. Okay, One here we go. Time. Huh? One more time. No yeah. problem. Here we go. Hey, Renee, do you happen to know where the movie theater is downtown? The one near the hospital? Yeah, why do you want to know? Well, on Monday, I asked Jennifer out on a date for this coming Saturday night. Wow, you've already been seeing a lot of her lately. Sounds great. Okay, write down these directions so you don't get lost. Okay, go ahead. First, drive down First Street going west, cross the river, and keep going straight until Pine Street. Until Pine Street, right? Right. Then turn left, and the movie theater is the second building on the right. It's next to the church. Second building on the right. Got it. Now, can you recommend any nice restaurants? Yeah, I think Flamingo serves excellent Spanish food. Well, where's that? Well, starting from the movie theater, go south on Pine Street, cross Second Street, and drive to Third Street. 
You'll see a parking lot on the left side of the street. Okay, so far? Parking lot on the left. Okay, then what? Okay, then turn left on 3rd Street and drive east. Pink Flamingo is the building just before the river on the left side. I think it's open weekdays from 10.30 in the morning to 11.30 at night, but it stays open until midnight on weekends. Okay, I think I've driven by there before. Oh, last thing. Where can I buy some flowers? We're going to out to celebrate Jennifer's birthday. Well, the only florist I know is in front of the stadium on 2nd Street. Try that one. Great. Thanks a lot. Okay. Was that clear now? Not so clear. Okay. Now, when is Steve going out with Jennifer? Saturday. Saturday, Friday, or Sunday? Sunday. 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 Saturday. Saturday. Okay, Sunday. listen. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Hey, Renee, do you happen to know where the movie theater is downtown? The one near the hospital. Yeah, why do you want to know? Well, on Monday, I asked Jennifer out if she's coming Saturday night. Wow. Saturday. Saturday. Saturday night. So Saturday is... Well, on Monday, I asked Jennifer out on a day, on Monday, for this coming Saturday night. Where is the movie theater? Number four, number 12, number two, or number one? Two. Twelve. Yeah, it's number 12. Now, let's see. Okay, listen carefully. I've heard that thing a lot of her lately. Sounds great. Okay, start right I'm here. Direction, so, you don't get so look, you start right here in this X. Can you see? You start right here, right here. So listen. Okay, go ahead. First, drive down first, going west, cross the river. Okay, drive on down. Okay, drive on first street. Cross the river. You see, this is the river. So you go and cross the river. I will play it again. Great. Okay, right down these directions so you don't get lost. Okay, go ahead. First, drive down First Street, going west, cross the river, and keep going straight until Pine Street. Okay, so you see, go, go west. You see west, this is west, south, east, and north. So go west. Cross the river on First Street, go straight, and turn left on Pine Street. Turn left, cruce a la izquierda. Great. Okay, right down these directions so you don't get lost. Okay, go ahead. First, drive down First Street, going west, cross the river, and keep going straight until Pine Street. Until Pine Street, right? Right. Then turn left. And the movie theater is the second building on the right. It's next to the church. Okay, second building, second building on the right. You turn on Pine Street. And the cinema is the second building on the right. A la derecha. Okay. Y dice aquí, turn left. Que cruce a la izquierda. So... The second building is number 12, okay? So here we go, and we click here number 12, which is correct. Right. Then turn left, and the movie theater is the second building on the right. It's next to the church. And you see? It's next to the church. Está a la par de la iglesia. Okay. Now, the, second, the next question is, where is the restaurant located? Okay, listen carefully. 200 kilos, el quizás. Building on the right, got it. Now, can you recommend any nice restaurants? Yeah, Pink Flamingo serves excellent Spanish food. Well, where's that? Well, starting from the movie theater, go south on Pine Street, cross 2nd Street, and drive to 3rd Street. You'll see a parking lot on the left side of the street. Well, park. Well, no, I'm not doing the left. Okay, then what? Okay, then turn left on 3rd Street. No, it's not doing the left. Just before the river on the left side. I think it's open weekdays from 10.30 to 11.30 at night, but it stays open until midnight on the weekend. Is that clear? So, it says... It starts, it starts from the cinema. Go 
South, go south, she said. Cross Second Street. Go to Third Street and turn left. Turn left. Okay? And there is a parking lot. So you turn left, and the restaurant is before the river. Before the river. Okay? Listen carefully again. Well, where's that? Well, starting from the movie theater, go south on Pine Street, cross Second Street, and drive to Third Street. You'll see a parking lot on the left side of the street. Okay, so far? Parking lot on the left. Okay. Then what? Okay. Then turn left on Third Street, drive east. You see Flamingo is the building just before the river on the left side. I think yeah, it's not... open weekdays from 10.30 in the morning to 11.30 at night, but it stays open until midnight on weekends. Okay. Okay, so... Where is the restaurant located? Number 11. Well, starting from the movie theater, go south on Pine Street. Cross Second Street and drive to Third Street. You will see a parking lot on the left side of the street. Okay, so far? We will see the script later. What time does the restaurant close on Sundays? 11, 10, 30, or 12 a.m. Y el gordo, ¿cuánto pesa? 10, 0. 10. 10, 30. Yes. Okay, let's check. Let's check. 12 a.m. Okay, let's see. Where is uh, the rest? Okay. So, what time does the restaurant close? So here we go. Then what? Okay. Then turn left on Third Street, drive east. Pink Flamingo is the building just before the river on the left side. I think it's open from 10.30 in the morning to 11.30 at night, but it stays open until midnight on weekends. Okay. I think I've driven. Okay. So it stays open until until midnight you remember midnight until midnight on weekends i think it's open weekdays dia de semana from 10 30 in the morning to 11 30 at night but it stays open until midnight you remember medianoche on the weekends so what time does the restaurant close on sundays at midnight where is the florist? Now, let's see. Where is the florist? Buy there before. Oh, last thing. Where can I buy some flowers? We're going to out to celebrate Jennifer's birthday. Well, the only florist I know is the front of the stadium on 2nd Street. Try that one. Great. Thanks a lot. So, the only florist that I know is in front in front of the stadium on Second Street. So what is it? Number? 10. Number 10. Are you sure? Okay, very good. Well, the only florist I know is in front of the stadium on Second Street. Try that one, okay? Now, very good. Now, listen and read, please, listen and read. Okay, here is the script. Hey, Renee, do you happen to know where the movie theater is downtown? The one near the hospital? Yeah, why do you want to know? Well, on Monday, I asked Jennifer out on a date for this coming Saturday night. Wow, you've already been seeing a lot of her lately. Sounds great. Okay, write down these directions so you don't get lost. Okay, go ahead. First, drive down First Street going west Cross the river and keep going straight until Pine Street. Until Pine Street, right? Right. Then turn left. And the movie theater is the second building on the right. It's next to the church. Second building on the right. Got it. Now, can you recommend any nice restaurants? Yeah, the Pink Flamingo serves excellent Spanish food. Well, where's that? Well, starting from the movie theater, go south on Pine Street, cross Second Street, and drive to Third Street. You'll see a parking lot on the left side of the street. Okay, so far? Parking lot on the left. Okay, then what? Okay, 
Then turn left on 3rd Street and drive east. Pink Flamingo is the building just before the river on the left side. I think it's open weekdays from 10.30 in the morning to 11.30 at night, but it stays open until midnight on weekends. Okay, I think I've driven by there before. Oh, last thing. Where can I buy some flowers? We're going to out to celebrate Jennifer's birthday. Well, the only florist I know is in front of the stadium on 2nd Street. Try that one. Great, thanks a lot. Okay, questions, guys? Questions? No, teacher. Go ahead, ahead, es ir de frente. Go ahead, sí, no, go ahead, siga adelante. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, what else? Bueno, sí, así como usted dice, siga de frente, va. Ok. Siga adelante, ok. More questions. No more questions? Try no, that teacher. one. Pardon? What? Sorry? Which one? Try that one. Where is it? Rene or Steve? Uh, after the stadium, second is three. And the finish. The floor is. This one, try that one. Eh, yes. Preve esa. Dice, well, the only florist I know, el único floristería que yo conozco is in front of the stadium. Está enfrente del estadio, en la segunda calle. Preve esa. Try that one. Okay. And you see preposition on second street. On Third Street. At night. Do you remember? At night. More questions. Bye. Okay, fíjense bien. Yo sé que estos listening son un poco difíciles. Okay. Ok, bien. ¿Quién es esta? Eneida. Vaya, mire, yo aquí le he puesto unos cuantos links. Todos estos links son, estos son de preposiciones. Esto le lleva a una página donde tiene un montón de ejercicios de preposiciones. Ok, así que usted le da a cada link, ahí hay un montón de ese link. Le da como 10 o 15 links en el cual usted puede practicar preposiciones in, at, and on. También le mando otro y también le mandé unos links donde hay un montón de links para hacer ejercicios de comprensión auditiva. Aquí le mando este, dos, tres, cuatro. ¿Ok? Así que póngase los audífonos y haga los ejercicios así como los hemos hecho ahorita. ¿Ok? Escuche, responda las preguntas, escuche la primera vez, nada más para ambientarse, lea las preguntas, vuelva a escuchar, y así es como voy a poder evolucionar en mi comprensión auditiva. ¿De acuerdo? Hay que dedicarle tiempo, ¿ok? Algunas son bien lentas porque son para bien básico. Si usted siente que es muy básico, pase a la siguiente, ¿ok? ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Hello. Yes. Okay. Sí. Vale, voy a dejar de compartir por un momento. Ok, vamos a pasar lista del día de ahora. Ok, vamos a ver.
Today is March 23rd, okay. Okay, bien, vamos a ver. Yo me voy a ir a... A buscar mi lista. Ok, aquí tengo mi lista. Ok. Bessie Stephanie Méndez. Present. Thank you. Ok, very good. Eh, Carlos Andrés Ramos Galicia. César Eduardo Alfaro Parada. Present. Thank you. Eh, Cristina Marisol García Argueta. Delia Noemí Valiente Linares. Present. Thank you. Eh, Enrique Américo Molina Barraza. Present. Thank you. Eh, Francisco Edgardo Méndez Corejas. Present. Thank you. Eh, Jeremías Adonai Miranda López. Present. Thank you. Eh, Karen Yesenia López Martínez. Present. Thank you. Eh, Catherine Stephanie Quintanilla. Present. Ok. Uh, Mario Mauricio Montano. Ok. Oscar Alejandro Molina Campos. Ok. Uh, Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Ok. Very good. Eh, Ramón Alexander Mesa Cuadra. Present. Oh, ok, Ramón. Eh, Roberto Antonio Ortiz Reyes. Present. Ok, very good. Sandra Maricela Cepeda Alfaro. Present. Eh, Susana Carolina Guevara Ángel. Xochil Eneida Vázquez Valencia. Xochil, Jacqueline Gloribel Rivas Pérez, Present. y Jenny Zuleima Santos, Present. ok, solo voy a hacer algo rápidamente, voy a Voy a enviarle esto rápidamente a, a Sochi. Ok, bien. So, eh, any questions, guys? No questions. Ok, now let's move on with the next one. Ok, I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to come here to the book. Ok, now expand your listening comprehension. Ok, this is another listening that we are going to do. Okay, now, can you see here? Do the preparation exercise before you listen. Then look at the map and listen to the directions while you do other exercises. Okay, bye. So can you see the map? The hospital, police station, Kings Road, Bond Street, Green Street. Okay, so listen carefully. Now, here we go. Listen on. Okay. Go straight on. 
then take the first left onto Green Street, walk past the library and it's the building next to the library on the left. B. Go straight on, go past the traffic light, you'll see a shop on the right. Go past that and it's on the right next to the shop. C. Go straight on, go past the traffic lights and go straight on until you get to the roundabout. At the roundabout, turn left. Go past the theatre. It's the building next to the theatre, opposite the hospital. D. Go straight on. Go past the traffic lights and take the second right onto King's Road. Go past the bookshop. It's the building next to the bookshop, opposite the cafe. This recording was brought to you by the British Council. To find okay, remember, you are right here. These are called traffic lights. Traffic light. And this is called roundabout. Roundabout. Okay? So, now, right-click in the link and click your understanding. Got feeling. The speaker, the speaker gives directions to the... B, the speaker gives direction to what place? The speaker gives direction to, and the speaker gives direction to. Now, listen again. Number one. Others like it, visit W. Go straight on, then. Okay, remember that all of you are right here. Okay, here we go. Go straight on, then take the first left onto Green Street. Walk past the library and it's the building next to the library on the left. Okay, was that clear? Here. Yes. Take the first left on the green. Go straight on. Go straight on. Go straight on. Straight is recto. Vaya recto, go straight on. Go straight on, then take the first left onto Green Street. Go straight on and take the first left. La primera a la izquierda, on Green Street. So usted se viene here, on Green Street, a la izquierda. Walk past the library and it's the next to the library. Okay, go past the library and it's the building next to the library. So what is the place? The post office. So A is the post office. Okay, very good, the post office. Now, let's go to number two. Okay? B. Go straight on. Go past the traffic lights. Go straight on. Pass the traffic lights. You'll see it on the right. Go past that. And it's on the right next to the shop. Okay, so you pass, you will find a shop on the right, and you pass the shop, and it is on the right next to the shop. Listen. Right, go past that, and it's on the right next to the shop. Next to the shop. So, what is this? Underground station. Underground, the underground station. station. That is correct. Okay, the underground, underground station. Okay, you just saw the case, the underground station. 
O el subterráneo. Es el subterráneo, es el metro subterráneo, ¿verdad? Ok, very good. Now, let's go to letter C. Ok, here we go. C. Go straight on. Go past the traffic lights and go straight on until you get to the roundabout. At the roundabout, turn left. Go past the theatre. It's the building next to the theatre, opposite the hospital. Opposite the hospital is the building D. next to the theatre. Go straight. Okay, so what is that? Cinema. The cinema. Very good, the cinema. Okay, so here is the cinema. Okay, now let's go to the last one. Both. Go past the traffic lights and take the second right onto the King's Road. Go past the bookshop. It's the building next to the bookshop opposite the cafe. Okay, again, let's let's see again. Go past the theatre. It's the building next to the theatre opposite the hospital. D. Go straight on. Go past the traffic lights and take the second right onto the King's Road. Go past the bookshop. It's the building next to the bookshop opposite the cafe. Opposite the cafe. What is opposite the cafe and the building next to the bookshop? Brought to you by the bus station. Station. The bus station. Okay, so bus station. Okay, now. Uh, finish. Okay, what is total score? Zero. Huh? Post office? What happened? I don't know. What, Show whoa. feedback. Let's see. Show feedback. <laughs> ah, probably. Okay. Show feedback. I don't know, but I think that they are good. I think maybe I, I put the something not in the right place. Okay. But the, now check, check, okay. Check the understanding, okay? I'm gonna put the, the script, okay? Uh, transcript is right here. Okay, so letter A. Go straight on, then take the first left on to Green Street. So go ahead and take the first left, a la izquierda, on Green Street. Okay, and walk past the library and is the building next to the library on the left. So go past the library and is the building next to the library on the left. So that is the post office. Okay, the next one. Go straight and go past the traffic lights. You will see a chop on the right. So you go straight and you will see a chop on the right. The shop. Okay, and go past that and is on the right next to the chop. So he is on the right next to the chop. And that is the underground station. Now, let us see. Go straight on, go past the traffic lights, and go straight on until you get the round roundabout. So you go here to the roundabout. Okay, very good. And at the roundabout, turn left and pass the theater. Is the building next to the theater? So at the roundabout, turn left. And is the building next to the theater, opposite the hospital. So is the cinema. And the fourth one is go straight on, go past the traffic light, and take the second right on King's Road. Okay? On King's Road. Take the second right on King's Road. Okay, very good. And now... Go past the bookshop is the building next to the bookshop, opposite the cafe. So you pass 
the bookshop and is the building next to the bookshop and opposite the cafe. So that is the bus station. Okay? Very good. Okay, so uh, now we are going to stop with the listenings. Now we're going to go with the with the book. Can you see the book? Yes. Yes. Okay, and you remember, okay, prepositions, right? Prepositions on 4th Avenue, on the corner, on the street, in El Salvador, in San Salvador, country, cities, in the park, in the neighborhood, at the meeting room, at work, at the bank. And we had an exercise with prepositions that we didn't finish. You remember, we didn't finish. I don't remember which one, but we didn't finish. Okay, I don't remember if we did this one. Okay, we are going to do, I think there were this ones, okay. Now we're gonna begin right here. Write, add, in, on, or leave it in blank, okay? Now, what is number one, Jacqueline? My cousins? Read number one, my cousins? Hello, Jacqueline? My cousin went to Australia last in July. Okay, no, we don't need here in July. Porque estamos diciendo en julio pasado. My cousin went to Australia last July. Por eso dice que iba, escriba at, in, on, or leave it blank, o déjale vacío. So in this case, I don't need, I don't need a preposition. Okay, very good. Uh, Sandra Maricela, number two. Turn on your microphone, Sandra, please. I like to eat pancakes in the morning. Okay, very good, in the morning. Excellent. Okay, the next one, Oscar Arnulfo. That is not home in the moment. No, not in the moment. You remember what do we use at the moment? At the moment. At the moment. At the moment. That is correct. Let me see at the end. At uh, the bus stop, let me see in the summer, at, at, at the moment, correct? Okay, so very good, very good. Let me see, where are we? Ah, right here, at the moment, okay, at the moment. Okay, the next one, Francisco Edgardo. Mambo. Mamu live. No, lived. Live in the ice age. In the ice age. <laughs> okay, very good. In the ice age. Okay, excellent. Okay, the next one, Jenny. My family gets together at dinner time. At dinner time, and every time that we have that expression, time accompanied of any other, is at. Very good, at dinner time. Okay, uh, Ramon, what is the, the what is the next one? My brothers. My brothers come home every Christmas. Every Christmas, so we don't need anything here. We don't need anything. Very good. The next one, let me see, Catherine. I take my dog for a walk 
In the morning. In the morning. Very good. Very good, Catherine. Okay, put in the correct preposition. Choose in, on, or at. If no preposition is needed, put in blank. Put in a dash. Este se llama guión, dash. Okay, number one, Jeremias. Um, there was a loud noise. Noise? Noise, noise. noise, noise. Which walk us up uh, at midnight. At midnight, very good, Jeremias, very good, at midnight. Okay, Bessie, what is the next one, Bessie? Do you usually eat chocolate eggs on Easter? No, that is in Easter, okay? Porque es una vacación de unas, esta es Semana Santa. So it's a period of time, so it's in, okay? Very good. Okay, Karen Lopez, what is the next one, Karen? What are you doing in the weekend? Not in the weekend. You can use at or you can use on. Both are okay. What are you doing on the weekend or at the weekend? Both are okay. Okay? Okay. Delia Noemi. Last week I worked until 9 p.m. Uh -huh. And every night. No, we don't need anything. Last week, I worked yes. until 9 p.m. every night. Entonces, aquí, ah, aquí necesitamos un dash. Dash. Dash, ajá. Uh -huh. Nada, no lleva nada. Number five. Let's see. Eh, Cesar Eduardo. Cesar. ¿Se encuentra Cesar por ahí? Encienda su micrófono, César. Ok, no está César. Francisco Edgardo. My father always read the paper in breakfast time. No, cada vez que utilizo time, tiene que ir así, ¿verdad? At breakfast, At breakfast time. That is correct. At breakfast time. Okay, very good. Next, eh, Roberto Antonio. Roberto Antonio, turn on your microphone, Roberto. Perdón, perdón, no me había fijado que tenía desactivado. Okay. He played tennis on Friday. On Friday, that is correct, on Friday. Okay, hello, Sochil. ¿Se pudo conectar, Sochil? Sí, teacher. ¿Le sirvió lo que le mandé? Sí, con eso puede entrar. Ah, vaya, okay, excelente. Okay, the trees here are really beautiful. What is the preposition that we are going to use, Sochil? In, on, or at? Los árboles aquí son realmente hermosos en la primavera. In. Ok, but read the sentence, please. Read the sentence. Lea toda la oración completa. The trees here are really beautiful in the spring. In the spring, very good. Catherine, what about the next one, Catherine? I'll see you on Thursday afternoon then. On Thursday or on Tuesday? Tuesdays for free. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on Tuesday afternoon then. Very good. Next, Oscar Arnulfo. She is studying. Shakespeare, Shakespeare. William Shakespeare. Shakespeare died 
in 1616. In 1616, that is correct. Very good. Bessie, what is the next one, Bessie? We study every, every day. Every day, so you don't need anything here. Very good. The next one, Karin. John is going to buy the present today. Today, so you don't need anything. John is going to buy the presents today. Cesar, are you there, Cesar? Um, in my home where the shop happened early. In, in my hometown. Um, hometown. 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 In my hometown. Hometown. In the shop opened early. In the morning. In the morning, that is correct. Very good. Okay. Now let's see the next one. Catherine, what is the next one, Catherine? She met her husband in nineteen ninety-eight. She met her husband. Okay, este es el pasado de meet. Met, la pronunciación es met. Ok. She met her husband. Uh -huh. In 1998. In 1998. Very good. Oscar Arnulfo. Uh, the bar is next Saturday. It's next Saturday, right. So I don't need anything. Ok. Next, uh, Bessie. Meeting on Friday morning. On Friday morning, that is correct. Okay, Karen Lopez, what is the next one, Karen? I often get sleepy in the afternoon. In the afternoon, that is correct. Okay, next, uh, Jenny. His daughter was born. On the 24th of August. She, his daughter was born on the 24th of August. Very good. Enrique, what is the next one, Enrique? Mobile phones became popular in the 90s. In the 90s, that is correct. In the 90s. Okay, very good. Cesar, what is the next one, Cesar? Luckily. Luckily, the weather was perfect. And on her wedding day. Wedding day. And so, Dia de Bodas. And that is correct. It was one specific day, so it's on. Okay, very good. Jacqueline, what is the next one, Jacqueline? See you on Friday. See you on Friday. Very good. See you on Friday. The next one, uh, Ramon. I brush my teeth in the morning. In the morning, that is correct. In the morning. Okay. Sochil, what is the next one, Sochil? Hello, Sochil. Are you there, Sochil? The match is on. Four o'clock. No, clock time. Remember about clock um, time? Remember about clock time? Clock time. Remember about clock time? What do I use? Uh, okay. okay, very good. So? At four o'clock. At four o'clock. Okay, that is correct. At four o'clock, okay? 
at four o'clock. Okay, very good. So chill, Catherine, what is the next one? We have lunch at midday. At midday, that is correct. Okay, so that means at noon. Okay, Oscar Arnulfo, what is the next one? I am busy in the moment. No, not in the moment. No, no, at the moment. At the moment, that is correct. Okay, at the moment. Okay, Jacqueline, what is the next one, Jacqueline? My parents always visit me on my birthday. Oh, my birthday. Very good. Okay, next, Sandra. My... No. My, uh, he was he born... Was born in the 19th century. In the 19th century. That is correct. Very good. Okay, next, Jeremias. Uh, he usually goes on holiday in July. In July. That is correct. Jeremias in July. Okay, Bessie. What is the next one, Bessie? They always get together on Christmas. Well, this is Christmas. Remember, two days. So, in. in Christmas. Now, in Christmas Eve, on Christmas Eve, on Christmas Day. Porque es un día específico. Pero Christmas son dos días. Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. El 24 de diciembre y el 25 de diciembre. Okay? So it's in Christmas. Okay, very good. The next one. Uh, let me see. Karen, what is the next one, Karen? Karen, Karen, turn on your microphone, Karen. You can come on, on the weekend. On or at the weekend. Both are okay. You can come on the weekend or you can come at the weekend. Both are okay. Uh, Ramon, what is the next one? Ah, ya no tenemos más. Okay? <laughs> okay. Now, very good. We are going to finish with the prepositions. Okay? Now, now we're gonna start with addresses, okay, here, number four. I will be able to ask and tell people the specific location of places and directions surrounding my workplace. Okay, ask some classmate where their workplace is located. Okay, so we're gonna forget that because I have plenty exercise. Vamos a olvidar de este ejercicio. Y nos vamos a venir a este, porque para esto tengo suficiente ejercicio para ustedes. Okay, now listen to this conversation. Only listen. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me go to the building on Main Street. I know. I know it. It's down the street on the left side is down the street on the left side okay thanks i have to ask you something else is there a training center there are a lot of training centers on the building between main and king street i have some interviews there thank you again bye bye questions about pronunciation or about vocabulary what is merit Ah, hello? What is Melbourne? Ah, Melbourne. Melbourne is eh, el nombre de, bueno, Melbourne es el nombre de una ciudad en Australia. Y aquí es el nombre del edificio. ¿Dónde está el edificio Melbourne? Así que Melbourne es el nombre del edificio. ¿Qué Es como decir, ¿dónde está el edificio Panamá? 
Okay? Thank you. Thank you. No questions? More no questions? Which one do you need? What is the meaning? Which one do you need? ¿Cuál necesita? ¿Cuál necesita? If there are four buildings, hay cuatro edificios. Very good. A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. Ajá. Uh -huh. What is the meaning? Una muchacha. Una muchacha me dijo. Me dijo que, fue, que fuera edificio al edificio en Main Street. En Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Lo conozco. Yo lo conozco. Está down the street quiere decir es siga la calle. It's down the street on the left side. Now, ahora, en todas ciudades hay una, ¿qué le puedo decir? Hay un lugar que la gente le, va, le dice vaya hacia abajo o vaya hacia arriba. Por ejemplo, si usted está en el centro y va hacia el hospital Rosales, people tell you go up the street. Vaya hacia arriba, en la calle. Si está en el Hospital Rosales y, y quiere buscar el centro, they tell you go down the street. ¿Está claro? Entonces, down the street es, siga la calle, está en esta calle, on the left side, en el lado, en el lado izquierdo. ¿Ok? Thanks. I have to ask you something else. ¿Qué quiere decir esto? Quiero preguntarte algo más. Okay. Is there a training center? What is the meaning? ¿Es ese un centro de entrenamiento? No. Este is there significa hay. Solo que este hay lo utilizo con singulares y también lo utilizo con nombres o sustantivos que son incontables, como el agua, el queso, la sal, la azúcar. Que si yo le doy un puño en la mano, ¿cuánto es? Es incontable. No se puede contar. Entonces, este es un hay para singulares, para, para sustantivos singulares, o sea, los que sí tienen plural, pero los voy a usar en singular y para sustantivos no contables. Aquí donde dice there are, también es hay, pero esto solo es para sustantivos plural contables. Solo para sustantivos plural contables. Y there is, aquí está en forma afirmativa, aquí está en forma de pregunta. ¿Ok? Entonces, dependiendo del sustantivo, si es singular o si es con, no, incontable, entonces yo voy a utilizar there is, there isn't, or is there, si fuera pregunta. Y si son plurales, sustantivos plurales, como buildings, que puedo contar, y usted ve ahí está en plural, entonces voy a utilizar there are, There aren't, si es negativa, o are there, si es en forma de pregunta. Ya lo vamos a ver. Ok. Sigamos con la siguiente. There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Hay muchos centros de entrenamiento. Ah, hay muchos centros, centros de entrenamiento. En, en el edificio entre, 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 y la calle entre la calle Main y la calle King between Main Street and King Street ok, very good I have some interviews there thank you again, bye bye tengo algunas entrevistas ahí gracias ajá, vaya, ok, perfecto hoy que ya estamos claros repeat after me 
Hello, can you help me? Where is the Marburg building? I don't live here. Hello, can you help me? Where is the building? I don't live here. I don't live. Don't live. I don't live here. No es live, es live. Live es live concert, concierto en vivo. Ese es live. Pero esto es, I don't live here. No vivo aquí. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? Don't worry, there are four buildings. Gail told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it is down the street on the left side. I know it is down, down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? Training center. There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. Okay, very good. Uh, I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. I have some interviews there. Okay, bye bye. Okay, very good. So, this is what I want you to do, guys. I want you to practice this, this conversation in pairs. So, I'm going to break you into pairs. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I'm going to make seven pairs. Okay, very good. Okay, there you go. Uh, Sandra and Jacqueline go to room number one. Francisco and Ramon, room number two. Cesar and Karen go to room number three. Oscar and Roberto, room number four. Jeremias and Jenny. Room number five, Enrique and Sochil, room number six. Bessie and Catherine, go to room number seven, please. Francisco, room number two. Karen, room number three. Roberto, room number four. Jenny, room number five. Roberto, room number four. Okay, very good. Is there a training center? There are a lot of 
training centers on the buildings between Main and King Street. I have interviewed there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Good. <laughs> Did you switch roles, girls? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. You finish. Okay, let me bring you back then. Okay. okay. Very good. Did you finish? We finished. Okay, now. Very good. So, here. Okay, can you see the book? This is page, page 41. Now, based on the conversation, let's answer these questions. How many Melbourne builders are there? Four. Four buildings. Four buildings. Four buildings. There are four buildings. Four buildings. Okay, very good. Where is the building where Will wants to go located? A building. Main Street. Uh huh. It's the Main Street. Uh huh. The building between Main and King Street. Main Street Main and, King and King Street, King Street. right? The building uh, between Main Street and King Street. Okay, very good. How many training centers are there? Where Where are they? How many training are, centers are there? There are, there are a lot. Uh -huh. uh, there are a lot of center. centers. Where are they? Between Main and King Street. Uh -huh. They are on the building, on the building between Main and King Street. Okay? Very good. Ah, por cierto, quiero hacer esta pregunta. ¿Pudieron abrir el libro que les mandé en el WhatsApp group? Yes. Yes. Sí. yes. Vale, ok, excelente. Ahí les mandé un documento, ¿verdad? Como a las siete y media. ¿Todos tienen ese documento? Sí, se los mandé al grupo. Si no lo pudieron imprimir, está bien. Bien. Ese bien. Voy a dar esta pequeña explicación y luego nos vamos a ir a la explicación que yo les mandé en el documento. There is for singular. There is an ATM across the street. Vale, como es para singular, yo tengo que utilizar el artículo A o AN. Voy a utilizar AN cuando el nombre o el sustantivo comience con sonido vocal. Oiga bien, sonido, no letra vocal. Voy a hacer un paréntesis, voy a dejar de compartir y me voy a compartir a la pizarra. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, yo tengo a university. ¿Por qué no le pongo a university? Porque no es university, es un sonido dictongo. You. No es un sonido vocal. Entonces, como es dictongo, es consonante. Y voy a comenzar con a university. ¿Ok? Pero en la mayoría de los casos, en la mayoría de los casos, sí, eh, la, los sustantivos son sonidos vocales. Entonces voy a escribir an, an ATM. Este como comienza con sonido consonante a Recruitment Center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. Y también puedo decir, there's no clothing factory around the corner. No hay. Todas quieren decir, hay un, eh, un eh, cajero across the street. There is a recruitment center. Hay un centro de reclutamiento in this address. Y no hay una fábrica de ropa a la vuelta de la esquina. ¿Ok? So I use there is with singular nouns, singular nouns. Y uso there are con plural nouns. 
there are a lot of companies. Mire, plural. There are some supermarkets, plural. There are no hospitals. Y uso la forma plural que es there are. ¿Está claro? Con afirmativos. Bien. Luego, en la siguiente, ahí puedo ver, there is a beautiful lobby. Hay un, este, ¿cómo se llama? Vestíbulo. Hay un hermoso vestíbulo. There are comfortable rooms. There are huge parking lot. Hay un gran parqueo. And there are three high tech elevator, Mr. Park. Right. Entonces, puedo combinar también esto de hay con adjetivos y el subjetivo. There are comfortable rooms. Okay. Hay habitaciones. Ok, bien. Y también tenemos There is a narrow reception. Entonces yo lo puedo usar también con adjetivos. Mire, primero el adjetivo y después el sustantivo. There is a narrow reception area. Hay una un área de recepción angosta. There are two dirty dining rooms. Hay dos eh, comedores sucios. There is an ugly photo copy center. Hay un centro de copias eh, feo. Una fotografía de copy center. There are small offices. Hay oficinas pequeñas. Ok. Antes de que hagamos algo de aquí, nos vamos a ir a here. Ok, para que nos quede claro de una sola vez. We use there is and there are to say that something exists. Quiere decir hay. Positive sentences. We use there is for singular and there are for plural. There is one table in the classroom. There are three chairs in the classroom. There is a spider in the bath. There are many people at the bus stop. Questions, hasta aquí. Questions about vocabulary? No questions. No, no questions? A bus stop. Parada de luces. Uh -huh. There are many people at the bus stop. Hay mucha gente. En la parada. We also use there is with uncountable nouns. There is milk in the fridge. Hay leche en la refrigeradora. ¿Ok? Todos los que son incontables tienen que ir con there is. There is some sugar on the table. Hay algo de azúcar en la mesa. There is ice cream on your shirt. Hay sorbete en su camisa. ¿Está clear? Contraction. The contraction of there is, is there's. There's a good song on the radio. There's only one chocolate left in the box. You cannot contract. You cannot contract there are. Solo la contracción es con there is. Con there, no, there are, no podemos contractar. ¿Ok? You cannot contract there are. So you have to say there are nine cats on the roof. There are only five weeks until my birthday. Questions? No question. No questions. Are you sure? Okay. Veamos. There's a, a good song on the radio. Hay una buena canción en el radio. Eh, solo hay un chocolate en la caja. Solo, hay, solo ha quedado un chocolate en la caja. There are nine cats on the roof. Hay nueve gatos en el techo. There are only five weeks until my birthday. Solo hay 
cinco semanas hasta mi cumpleaños. Ok, repeat after me. There is one table in the classroom. There is, there is one table in the classroom. There are three chairs in the classroom. There are three chairs in the classroom. There is a spider in the bath. There is, there is a spider in the bath. There are many people at the bus stop. There are many people at the bus stop. There is milk in the fridge. Ok, y fridge es el nombre corto de refrigerator. Fridge. Ok, entonces hay leche en el refrigerador. Fridge. Es un nombre corto que se le da a refrigerator. Ok. There is some sugar on the table. There is ice cream on your shirt. There's a good song on the radio. There's only one chocolate left in the box. There's only one chocolate left in the box. There are nine cats on the roof. There are only five weeks until my birthday. There are only five weeks until my birthday. Okay, so that was the affirmative form. Now we go with the negative form. Y vamos a respetar lo mismo que la positiva. There isn't, lo vamos a utilizar con singulares, eh, contables y con no contables incontables ok the negative form is the negative is formed by putting not after is or are example there is not a horse in the field there are not eight children in the school there is not a tree in the garden there are not two elephants in the zoo questions Question, questions? No. 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 Question. Okay. Bye. Uh, repeat after me. There is not a horse in the field. There are not eight children in the school. There are no children in the school. There is not a tree in the garden. There is not a tree in the garden. There are not two elephants in the zoo. There are not two elephants in the zoo. Ok, obviamente no usamos esta forma, usamos las contractadas, ok? Porque eh, en speaking se usa mucho la contracción. So we almost always use contractions when speaking. When speaking. The negative contraction are there's not or there isn't. There are not, there aren't. There aren't with any, okay? For example, we want to indicate that a zero quantity of something exists, we use there aren't any. Cuando queremos indicar que una cantidad cero, que algo existe, usamos there aren't any, okay? So, there aren't any people at the party. There aren't any trees in my street. Okay. No hay, nosotros decimos así, ¿verdad? No hay ninguna persona en la tierra. No hay ningún árbol en mi calle. Okay. We also use this structure with uncountable nouns. There isn't any water in the swimming pool. There isn't any sugar in my coffee. No hay agua en la piscina. Y no hay azúcar en mi café. Question. Uh -huh. Remember, in conversations or when we are speaking, we use there isn't and there aren't. Okay? Now, questions. Okay. Okay. To form a question, we place is or are in front of there. Again, we use any with plural questions or those with 
which use uncountable nouns. We also use there is and there are in short answers. For example, is there a dog in the supermarket? No, there isn't. Are there any dogs in the park? Yes, there are. Is there a security guard in the shop? Yes, there is. Are there any polar bears in Antarctica? No, there aren't. Is there any ice cream in the freezer? Yes, there is. Questions? No, teacher. No. No? Okay, no. repeat after me. There aren't any people at the party. There aren't, there aren't any, any people, 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 people at the party. There aren't any trees in my street. There isn't any water in the swimming pools. There isn't there any, isn't any, any water, water in the swimming pools. There isn't any sugar in my coffee. There isn't any sugar in my coffee. Is there a dog in the supermarket? Is, is there, there a dog? A dog in the market? Market? No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Are there any dogs in the park? Are there, Are there any, any dogs, dogs in the park? park? Yes, there are. Yes, yes there, there are. are. Is there a security guard in the shop? Is there a security guard in the shop? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. There is. Are there any polar bears in Antarctica? Are there Are any there polar, bears polar bears in Antarctica? Bears in Antarctica? No, there aren't. No, there aren't. Is there any ice cream in the freezer? Is there any ice cream in the freezer? Yes, there is. There is. Yes, yes, there is. Yes, there is. Now, we also use how many with the plural, with are there. If we want to find out the number of objects that exist, we use how many? Quantos. How many plus plural noun plus are there plus complement. Can you see? How many? Right there. How many? Dogs. Can you see? Uh-oh. Let's reverse that. Dogs. No, How many dogs? That is the plural noun. That is the plural noun. Dogs. Okay. And are there? Are there in the park? How many dogs are there in the park? How many students are there in your class? ¿Cuántos perros hay en el parque? How many students are there in your class? ¿Cuántos estudiantes hay en su clase? How many countries are there in South America? ¿Cuántos países hay en Sudamérica? How many Star Wars films are there? ¿Cuántos películas de Star Wars hay? Are we clear? Vale, entonces vamos a comenzar a hacer ciertos ejercicios. Ok. Vamos a comenzar con affirmative. Ok. There is or there are. Vamos a ver, number one. Ginny. Eh, no, Jacqueline. What is number one? There is. Ah, uh -huh, there is. A bag on the table. There is a bag on the table. Number, number two, Enrique. There is a calendar on the wall. There is a calendar on the wall. Number, the next one, Sandra. Sandra, Maricela. Alejandro. Sandra está haciendo otra cosa. Ok, vamos a continuar. Ok, Ramón, the next one. There are two posters in my room. There are two posters in my room. Very good. So chill. The next one. So chill. Encienda su micrófono. There is a banana in this basket. Canasta. Okay. Very good. Oscar. Next.
Oscar Arnulfo. Uh, a lot of books in the shelf. No, that is the one before. Uh, Oscar? Yes, there. Uh, there are? There are pictures in the chicken kitchen. In the kitchen, in the kitchen. No en el pollo. Uh, kitchen. <laughs> in the kitchen, that is correct. Jenny. <laughs> There are lots of books on the shelf. There are lots of books on the shelf. Okay, very good. Jeremias, the next one. There is a mirror in the in our hall. In our hall. Hay un espejo en nuestro pasillo. Okay, very good. Bessie, what is the next one, Bessie? There are cell cushions on the sofa. What is the meaning of cushions? Cushions. Son eh, cojines. Hay doce cojines en el sofá. Okay, very good. Francisco, the next one. There is a bit. Wardrobe in my sister's bedroom. Ajá, wardrobe es un ropero. There is a big wardrobe in my sister's bedroom. Okay, very good, Roberto Antonio. There is children in the yard. Question, children is singular or children is plural? Plural. Aha, uh -huh. if it is plural, what are we going to write? There? In the yard. There are children in the yard. Okay. Now, one more. There is or there are. Okay. The next one is Ramon. What is the next one, Ramon? There is a woman. There are, ah, with contractions. Ah, well, okay. There is a woman. Try to use contractions, okay? Okay. Va, vamos a ver. Away from the beginning. Oscar, what is number one, number two? There are some pencils. Ajá. Acuérdense que en la afirmativa are. con there are no hay contracción. Okay, there are there some are. pencils. There are some pencils. That is correct. Enrique, the next one. Leaves. You know what is the meaning of leaves, right, Enrique? Ojas. Oh, Ojas, oh, correct. Very good. There are many leaves. There are many leaves. Okay, very good. Uh, Francisco Edgardo. There is. Okay, contraction. There's an orange. There's an orange. Okay, very good. Uh, Jacqueline, the next one. There's a um, book. There's one book. There's one book. Very good. Jenny. There are three balloons. There are three balloons. Balloon. Okay, what is the meaning of balloons? Vejigas. Balloons. There are three balloons. Hay tres vejigas. Okay, very good. The next one, eh, Jeremias. Use contraction. Remember, where there's, possible. There's a bear. There's a bear. Very good. Hay un oso. Next, Bessie. Turn on your microphone, Bessie. There are a few bees. pero con there are no se uh, puede contractar. There are a few bees. Ajá, hay unas pocas abejas. They are, there are a few bees. Ok. Uh, ta, 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 ¿Quién iba? César, the next one. There's an 
There's an end. Very good. The next one. Uh, let's see. Can you go? There are great. There's. There. There are great. There are grapes. That is correct. There are grapes. Okay. Very good. Okay. Bien. Vamos a parar aquí y nos vamos a ir al libro. Okay. Only affirmatives. Okay. Now, complete the exercise with there is or there are. Ah, no. No era este. Era este, ¿verdad? Sí, era este. With a quantifier. Okay. For example. What is number one? Who can tell me what is number one? There is. There is. There is marketing presentation. Marketing presentation. There. There's. 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 Marketing presentation. Ajá, ¿qué le hace falta? ¿Qué le hace falta? Ah. Ah, correct. There's a marketing presentation across the street in the morning very good excellent number two okay let's see there are there are, uh -huh. there are business workshops because it's plural down the street ah there are some this is utilizamos some there are some there are some business workshops down the street. Hay algunos talleres de negocios allá abajo en la calle. Okay, number three. What is number three? There, there are, are in recruitment. Recruitment. Uh -huh. Vaya, there. They aren't. aren't. Vaya, yo puedo utilizar there aren't. Y también voy a poner aquí, yo puedo utilizar there. No, there are no recruitment centers around my building. Mm -hmm. Okay, de las dos maneras puedo hacerlo. Okay, can you see it right here? Yes. There are no hospitals on Byron Street. Okay, very good. What is number four, guys? What is number four? There is. There is. There is. There is not. Ah, uh, there, there contraction, right? There's not. There's no, and I can also put there no. isn't. Okay. Ah. No. Okay. No puedo usar there isn't porque si utilizo there isn't necesito el a. Pero si necesito el, pero si lo hago con no, ya no necesito el A. ¿Puede ver la diferencia? Hola, hola. ¿Cómo? Ajá, vaya. Vale. Si lo hago con there isn't, necesito ponerle el artículo A o A N. Ajá. Si lo hago con no, no necesito el artículo. Entonces, como aquí no está el artículo y me piden con no, Entonces, la mejor es, there's no store on the corner. Ahora, sí puedo decir, there isn't a store on the a corner. Story. Y significa lo mismo. Vamos. Pero para efecto de este ejercicio específico, tiene que ser con, there's no. ¿Ok? No sé si entendieron ahí la, la diferencia. La aclaración. Hola, hola. Si me dicen que no, no entendimos. Si me dicen que sí, sí entendimos. Sí, sí. Sí, vale. Vale. Number five. What is number five? There are, there are banks, banks behind, behind the factory. There are banks behind the factory I work. Very good. Now, the next one. There is. There is. Oh, there's. There. There's. Uh, ah, here I can use contraction. There's. There's, there's an. An. A building. A building around the corner. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Questions. 
No question. No question. Vaya, usted va a trabajar en esta conversación. Tell me, where do you work? I work in Simán. I work in San Rafael Hospital. I work in uh, the airport. Where is it? It is. Y usted le pone. Si es Simán, it is in downtown. And you, where do you work? Well, I work in uh, ad hoc. Where is it? Ah, it's on uh, Boulevard del Ejército in Soyapango. Is that clear? So, haga yeah. la conversación para comenzar con ello mañana. Ok, hay preguntas. No, no. Hay preguntas. Vaya, miren. Vaya, este. Creo que, bueno, vamos a hablar de esto primero y de ahí nos vamos a ir a algo específico. Ok, ahora le toca, hoy es el primer día de la, de la última semana. Hoy le toca a Enrique. Ok. Así sí. que de 10 a 10 y 10. Y eh, después de eso, fíjese bien, yo quiero de que ustedes pongan atención a esto. Voy a, voy a irme aquí a la... Ok, y me voy a venir a eh, la plataforma. La mayoría están bien, la mayoría están bien, pero... Pero Ramón, necesito Ramón, por favor, para que no vaya a tener complicaciones, necesito que se pongan las pilas con las tareas de la unidad 3. Ya estamos en la unidad 4, ¿verdad? E, y fíjense bien lo que les voy a decir. Ok, eh, eh, próximo, creo que el viernes o el sábado o el domingo le va a llegar una información para que usted haga las encuestas. Ok acerca de INSAFOR, acerca de inglés corporativo y acerca de mi persona. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Esas son las encuestas de satisfacción de ustedes. Ahora bien, se les pide que por favor no las llenen. Las vamos a llenar el lunes, que es la última clase. Las vamos a llenar aquí en la clase. ¿Sí? Yo les voy a dar la guía de cómo lo que tienen que hacer porque si a usted le sale mal a la encuesta de satisfacción, no le van a dar certificado. ¿Me explico? Entonces, son de las tres cosas que piden SAFOR. ¿verdad? De que usted tenga arriba del 80% de nota. Dos, de que tenga arriba del 80% de los minutos en la plataforma y que tenga buena la encuesta de satisfacción. Entonces... ¿Por qué? Porque hay cierta eh, información que hay veces que nos confundimos. Entonces, yo aquí voy a tener todo lo que usted necesita para poder llenar la, la encuesta de satisfacción. Cuando ya le toque nada más evaluar, porque eh, tiene que llenar la información de qué curso está, cuándo se inició, cuál es el nombre del curso, etc. Entonces, toda esa información yo la voy a tener el día lunes disponible ¿verdad? para que usted no se equivoque. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Y una vez que ya haya completado la información que es vital, alguna de esa información es de darle copy-paste. ¿Me explico? Porque eh, no puede haber un espacio en vacío porque eso le arruina el dato. ¿Me explico? Así como en la plataforma. Entonces, una vez que usted haya llenado la encuesta con la información, usted ya puede trabajar solo y poner qué es lo que usted opina acerca de INSAFOR, acerca de inglés corporativo y acerca de su teacher. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Yes, yes. ¿Tiene alguna pregunta en cuanto a eso? Así que cuando le llegue la encuesta de satisfacción, la puede ver, pero no la mande. Yo le voy a decir aquí cómo es que usted la va a llenar y luego usted va a llenar lo que ya corresponde a usted y solo para usted y luego cómo enviarla, ¿ok? 
Ese es otro pisto también. ¿Cómo enviarla? ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Yes, yes, Todo eso lo vamos a hacer el día lunes. Así que cuando le llegue la encuesta, usted lo único que tiene que hacer es tener la lista para trabajarla y enviarla ese mismo, esa misma noche. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Yes, sir. Okay. Vaya, por eso es que si usted ve, estamos adelantándonos un poquito en las lecciones. Hoy ya comenzamos la lección que corresponde a, al, seg a las, al segundo día de la última semana. Porque en la última semana solo tendremos como una hora para poder trabajar la última lección de, de la unidad 4. Por eso es que nos estamos adelantando un poco. Vaya. Y lo otro es, con el there is y el there are, ustedes, este grupo es eh, súper buenísimo, ¿verdad? Hay otro grupo en el cual yo hoy me tengo que, de, de, me tengo que detener porque eh, casi no entienden, pero ustedes eh, sí son un súper grupo, excelente. Entonces, lo que les pido es trabajen con el documento que les di Vayan adelantando ejercicios para que así el día de mañana vamos a revisar todo ese ejercicio. De hecho, los vamos a hacer orales, como siempre lo hemos venido haciendo. Pero usted me puede hacer ya preguntas específicas. Mire, aquí, ¿por qué esto? Si es que las hay. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Yes, preguntas. Yes. Vaya, y lo siguiente es, vaya, estamos aquí y ustedes ven la tarea número 3. Significa... Las tareas, las 11, 12, 13, 14 y 15 de la semana 3. Ok, la mayoría ya trabajó en ellas, excepto Karen, que está, solo ha hecho la tarea 11, 12 y 13. Ok, a Roberto le falta la tarea 4 y a Ramón le faltan las tareas de la semana 2 y la semana 3. Y Ramón, le suplico para que no vaya a haber algún problema tarde, ¿verdad? Que se ponga al día, por favor. Bien, eso es, y por último, tenemos a Sandra Marisela, que le hace falta completar la tarea 14 y 15 de la semana 3, ¿verdad? Incluso la, no sé en cuál tuvo una, un error, usted lo puede corregir para que le quede 80%. Y a solo hacer la tarea 14 y 15. Eh, a Jacqueline y, y Jenny ya terminaron, ¿verdad? Eh, no sé si les me queda algo por, por explicarles, pero eso era lo que tenía para ustedes el día de ahora, ¿ok? ¿De acuerdo? Así que no estos tres, cuatro últimos días, estos tres últimos días, esta semana, por favor. No deje de conectarse para que le salgan sus minutos completos, ¿ok? Acuérdese, Insafor tiene tres condiciones. Uno, que la nota sea 80% para arriba, que usted tenga mínimo el 80% de los minutos en la plataforma y tercero, que eh, la encuesta de desactivación haya sido enviada correctamente. ¿De acuerdo? Ok, así que los dejo. Solo me voy a quedar con Enrique. And see you tomorrow, okay? Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, bye. Good, night. Good, night. Good night and rest, please. Good and see you tomorrow, later. okay? See you. See you. Bye, Francisco. Bye, Caesar. Bye, Sochil. Nos vemos, César. Nos vemos, Francisco. Bien, si gusta, comenzamos, Enrique. César y Eduardo. Ya terminamos la clase, así que ya pueden abandonar la plataforma. César y Francisco. Bien, dígame, Enrique. Eh, en cualquier cosa que usted desee saber acerca de Insafor, acerca de inglés corporativo, de la plataforma o cualquier eh, eh, tópico que hayamos visto durante 
Este curso, ahorita es cuando. Preguntas así, ¿con cuáles? Tal vez, tal vez no. O sea, ahorita creo que eh, tal vez si al principio decía hacer un, como una evaluación para, para otro tipo de nivel, pero me he dado cuenta de que igual sigo aprendiendo, pues, o sea, son detalles, lo cual voy a seguir la línea normal de la de ahorita. Correcto, ahora. Las más preguntas eh, así, puntuales, no. No hay, creo que todo para ustedes está claro. Veo que en la forma que responde, eh, que es a, habitualmente correcta, casi siempre, ¿verdad? Veo que este no tiene ningún problema. Ahora, eh, eh, yo no quisiera, no sé cómo sienten las clases, porque no todas las clases van a ser como estas. ¿Ok? Y Enrique, no quisiera de que en ningún momento usted se aburriera. ¿verdad? Porque, claro, yo no sé si en esta clase se ha aburrido porque lo ha sentido casi todo demasiado fácil. No, no, la, la verdad que fácil porque quizás ya lo sé ciertas cosas. Pero no, no me he aburrido por el tema de, por los detallitos que te digo, que he ido aprendiendo. De todo modo, la práctica siempre es buena, ¿verdad? para Porque más que todo, vocabulario. Ahora, eh, sí. Cada, cada clase, güey. Uh -huh. Ahora, definitivamente, vocabulario eh, y especialmente de, de trabajo, sí hay en cada, en cada nivel. Porque ahorita hemos entrado hacia un poco nivel general. Y usted, visto, y usted ha visto que casi que hemos visto algunas eh, ocupaciones de trabajo bien específicas, como eh, Human Resources, como Marketing, entonces que son eh, bien, que no, no se ven mucho en, en base, ¿verdad? Sí. Y déjeme decirle que así como vayamos avanzando en cada libro, cada libro lleva como una especialidad. ¿va? Por ejemplo, se va a hablar de restaurantes, se va a hablar de trabajos en restaurantes, se va a hablar de trabajos en departamento de, de Human Resources, eh, con algún vocabulario de Human Resources, se va a hablar de marketing, de mercadeo, con bastante vocabulario de marketing. Se va a hablar de accounting, con vocabulario de accounting. ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, a pesar de que ejemplo, no sea nuestra, nuestra área de especialización, pero sí es necesario conocer cierto vocabulario para poder expresarse con esas personas. Claro. Sí, eso, eso es por el lado que no me no sentido que si me aburro, pero el tiempo, al contrario, o sea, el vocabulario siempre es bienvenido. Entonces, de lo que yo había estudiado antes, no me habían dado este tipo de, de vocabulario, que son áreas específicas, como usted lo decía, tipos de trabajo. Uh -huh. Entonces, no. Siento que voy bien, la verdad, no. Y eh, 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 es muy bueno la el diagrama que usted tiene para dar las clases, este, el, la línea que usted va siguiendo, creo que es bastante buena. Este. No, y, y yo, los, yo los felicito a, a, a la mayoría del grupo porque, bueno, usted ve, son poquitos, a menos de que no se incorporen a las clases todos los días, eh, entonces pierden el hilo. Pero casi que todos esto, eh, me demandan a prepararles material para poder practicar, pues va, y lo cual a mí eso eh, me encanta, va, porque me, 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 me estimulan, veo que el grupo es eh, bien proactivo y, y con ganas de aprender, pues va, y como les digo, aunque ya tengan una base, porque la mayoría de ustedes ya tienen una pequeña base, este, eh, Ninguno me ha dicho, hey, esto es aburrido, en las clases privadas especialmente. Uh -huh. Tal vez no me lo vayan a decir así en la clase, ¿verdad? Pero este, ninguno me ha dicho, 
este, eh, mire, este, esto ya lo sabíamos, sino que me han dicho, hey, estoy aprendiendo y, y estoy reforzando cosas que ya sabía. Sí, claro. Sí, ah, más, pero, más que todo, creo que por tema de actitud, ya, porque aunque ya lo sepamos, ciertas cosas, pero igual, si nosotros nos ponemos a hablar, ahí se nota que eso nos hace falta fluidez, a veces del miedo. Si eres una buena práctica, se va perdiendo ese miedo. ¿va? Y ahí sí. uno va avanzando. Ahora, lo que sí le voy a recomendar es, eh, cuando yo he entrado a las, y no estoy diciendo de, de su caso, ¿verdad? Específico. Pero sí, yo he entrado a algunas eh, eh, grupos pequeños y entonces la mayoría está hablando español, ¿verdad? Ahora, eh, ¿qué es lo que sucede con eso? Eso es como el que va a Los Ángeles y se reúne solo con personas que hablan español y hablan español. Así que el propósito, y esto quiero que salga de iniciativa propia suya, cuando esté con el grupo, si el grupo quiere hablar español o la pareja quiere hablar español, usted hable en inglés, porque usted es el que tiene claro que estas dos horas son para practicar inglés. ¿Verdad? Claro, sí. Para que, o sea, no se acostumbre a hablar, porque uno se acostumbra. Hay veces que cuando sale más fácil esto, ah, mejor nos inclinamos a eso más fácil, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, Pero sí. desde ya usted tome la actitud de que siempre, hey, si ellos no quieren, está bien, pero usted habla en inglés, ¿verdad? No, eh, cuando explique, explique en inglés, porque es una forma, el explicar nos hace de que a nosotros no se nos olvide lo que ya sabemos, ¿verdad? Sí, claro. Porque confirma, y, con, y esa confirmación es con seguridad, no es con duda, entonces eso... De, el cerebro lo retiene eh, con más capacidad pues. sí, así claro. que no sé Pero si tiene no. algo más Enrique que, que queramos sí, discutir quizás es un tema de la el, mencionó usted sobre la certificado que hay en Safor me acuerdo la, la primera videoconferencia que se hizo con alguien encargada de una señora que encargada de, de este curso del Instafor creo que mencionó que no se, no se iba a dar este, certificación por el tema de porque es como una ayuda que nos da a nosotros en su forma bueno. solo de aprender pero no como salir certificado del mismo bueno la verdad es que no es un certificado autorizado por el Ministerio de Educación. Es un certificado nada más eh, eh, que lo certifica Insafor. Ahora bien, no estoy al tanto, no estoy al tanto de que tal vez Insafor haya cambiado la política. Pero lo que yo tengo de trabajar este programa, siempre a cada nivel, cuando ellos terminan, a la semana, entonces ellos ya tienen eh, su certificado, por ejemplo, de básico 1, del módulo sí, básico 1. Me imagino uno. que es un certificado que dice que yo asistí a esas clases. Sí, y ahí ya. menciona que usted este, participó y, 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 lo, y lo acredita como que ese, ese, ese módulo lo pasó, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero voy a preguntar, y eso lo voy a, le voy a decir mañana, voy a preguntarle a Elena que es la coordinadora, por si haya cambiado la política de Insafor, puede ser. Yo le pregunto mañana y mañana le, le evacúo la, okay. la inquietud. ¿De acuerdo? De acuerdo, de acuerdo. Bueno, entonces ya no le voy a quitar más el tiempo, lo voy a dejar ir a descansar y nos vemos mañana, ¿verdad? Si bueno, puedes bueno. trabajar en parte de, ese, eh, de, de los ejercicios de There Is y There Are, excelente. Así mañana sí. solo chequeamos y revisamos. ¿De acuerdo? De acuerdo. Está bien. Muchísimas okay. gracias por el tiempo también. No, ya sabes, para servirle. Good gracias. night and see you tomorrow. ¿Ok? Good night. See you next time. Ok. Very good. Bye bye. Okay. Bye.